So in this video, uh, inshallah, I'm going to um, cover uh, lesson number eight. And in lesson, in this lesson, uh, we are going to learn uh, types of ism. Types of ism, uh, as you know, is the fourth property of an ism. So because it's the fourth property, so basically we are going to cover all the properties of ism with this lesson number eight. So what is type of ism? Like ism can be, uh, what, what do you uh, expect? Like ism can be a common one or a particular or specific proper one like we have specific names like uh, like asma uh, khalid bilal so these are specific names and the same way uh, asma can be a girl or a woman so girl and woman is common uh, as we know in english so uh, there are two basic types of is, uh, ism in Arabic, uh, Arabic grammar, ism nakira, and the second one, ism, ism marfa. Ism nakira is like, uh, ism nakira is like com, uh, common noun, as we know common noun in English. So uh, ism nakira is that type. And ism marfa, uh, we can compare like uh, it to proper noun in English. Though we know that noun in English is quite, uh, ism, ism in Arabic is quite different from what is noun in English because ism includes all nouns, ism in Arabic include, includes all noun, all pronoun, adjectives, adverb, and more. So, uh, ism are not uh, the same as noun in English, but just to have an idea that what is ism nakra and what is ism marfa, just to have an idea, ism nakra is like common and ism marfa is proper particular. So, uh, okay, so let's discuss each one by one. Uh, uh, common ism, uh, ism nakra, this is also termed as uh, indefinite ism. Why indefinite? Because any individual among a group can be represented by an ism. Like if I say kitabun, kitabun means a book. So I can uh, refer to kitab, uh, I can say kitabun uh, just to refer to any book, any book in the library, any book on the table. So Every, every, everything in that class, in that category is inclusive. The same way our door, Babun. So it can be any door. But if I say Babe Abdul Aziz, then it's a specific, uh, a specific door. When, uh, when I say uh, Masjidun, then any Masjid, it can be any Masjid. But if I say Masjid al-Haram, then it's specific, that's, then it's proper. So uh, Ismail Nakira is common or indefinite. So these are examples. Ma'un, Baitun, Ba'abun, Waladun, Qamisun, Kalabun, Kalamun. And one thing, you, uh, you, might, be, um, you might have noticed that uh, all these uh, words, they are ending in un. So tanween, tanween is uh, usually, we, we usually see tanween at the end of isme nakira. The only thing is some, uh, we know that male, 
male Arabic names, they also have Tanmeen at the end, like Khalidun, Bilalun. So we just have to rule out that it's not the name of a particular person. Otherwise, if we say Tanmeen, Un, An, In sound at the end of a word, then most, most likely it's a Isminakara. Uh, okay. And the, this Tanmeen also denote uh, this tanween also denotes that it's a it's singular. A door, babun a door, baitun a house, masjidun a masjid. So uh, this tanween tells us that it's a it's minakra and also tells us that it's a singular one in number. Then comes proper ism, ismarfa. Name of a particular person. Uh, so it's marfa is the name of a particular person or particular animal or thing. Then it's a it's marfa. But animal can be a, a, some people they name uh, their pets like uh, they have a cat but they name it uh, uh, the cat or dogs. So. Uh, so particular name can be associated to a person, animal, or thing. But if it's a partic uh, particular name, then it's a proper or ismimalfa. It is also called definitive because when I say, as when I call asma, it means I'm calling only one particular person. If I, uh, I say, um, mm, if I say uh, Khalidun or Bilalun, then I'm 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 referring to a particular person. So, so it is a specific and exclusive. Like when I say, uh, our, okay, for let's take example, and then I'm uh, I'm going uh, to uh, explain this term ex uh, exclusive. Uh, the men entered into the masjid. Ar rajulu dakhala fil masjidi. So, Ar Rajulu, when Al comes, then it becomes the man. And with the, it becomes particular, particular, specific. The man who entered the masjid, right? So, it's not any other man, it's the man. While if I remove Al, then it, it, will, it will be Rajul, uh, Rajulun. And Rajulun is common. Any man, any person. So, any male. So ar rajulu the men. It's exclusive. It 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 excludes all other men. Uh, al masjidi again particular masjid in which a person a uh, the man entered. Up ar rajulu entered that masjid. Asma again a particular name, right? And that door is open. Zalikal babu. Maftuhun. So it ha it is specific, like pointing that zalika is pointing word and pointing to a particular door. Zalikal babu maftuhun. So that's, these are the three examples, and let's learn the subtypes. Subtypes of ismarfa. So they are uh, there are different subtypes. Uh, we just learned that ism. Uh, ism has two types, isme nakra and isme marfa. Now we are learning the sub, uh, types of isme marfa. Isme marfa, first thing which is very common is uh, any ism preceded by al. If you f uh, find al at the beginning of a word, then it's, it's uh, isme marfa. Like Baitun is any a, any house, but al baitu the house. So it's it becomes marfa with al proper with al. It's a proper noun with al. Al masjidu is proper with al. The same okay. So the the same way any any common noun. Uh, though Quran we know Quran if you remove uh, al. It's, it's still Quran, we know it's uh, Quran is a specific. Al Quranu, the Quran. Okay. So, 
proper okay second uh, second sub type of ismarfa proper name of a person or place so uh, any name uh, any particular name of a person place or thing that is called ism ism alam is, ism alam and then the third category is pointing words or ism ishara okay so pointing words or ism ishara and these are um haza hazihi these are for new uh, this uh, these are for new uh, uh, sorry near objects near objects this so haza is masculine hazihi is um, feminine the same way for uh, uh, that for far objects dalika and tilka masculine and feminine and then uh, those uh, these this is the plural form and plural form for near objects and plural form for uh, far objects ulaika those so so far we learned three subtypes or three categories of ism marfa now the fourth one fourth one is uh, like all pronouns are also ism marfa all pronouns right so in arabic it's called zam, uh, ism zamir and plural is zamair singular is zamir plural is zamair and uh, for example huwa huma hum hiya huma hun hunna anta antuma antunna so both attached and uh, att uh, attached uh, these are uh, detached pronoun and attached are ka kuma kum so attached and det detached both pronouns are mm, ism marfa then we have uh, another type uh, another category of uh, ism marfa is uh, connector words connector words or a small mausula they connect two parts of a sentence like if there are there are two phrases in a com uh, big long sentence a uh, complex sentence then they connect two uh, phrases two parts of a sentence so allazi means the one who allati the same the one who allazi is masculine allati is feminine so, same way uh, the plural forms are allazina and allati then comes a uh, uh a sixth category in which like uh, the one being called like the person being called if we call like there is a group there are group of five students among five students if i call uh saad ya saadu so ya saadu uh so that i'm calling only one boy so that particular boy when i when we call someone then that person becomes uh, specified we are specifying one person or if we if someone calls a group group of individuals then that group is specified so whether a person is being called or a group is uh, a whole group is being called then that becomes ismarfa munada so any ism that belongs to one of the okay so these are the categories of, uh, six categories of ism marfa there are some more but inshallah when we learn in uh, fragments and other uh, like for, uh, further down in our lessons inshallah we learn more categories at this this level we are learning six categories of ism marfa so any ism that belongs to one of the categories or subtypes of proper ism proper ism or ism marfa then it is considered proper or marfa right so like when we see when when we are uh, uh, we are doing our exercise or we are uh, we study quran and we see uh, any word if it belongs to if it is a pointing word then it's is marfa if it's a pronoun then it's ma it's marfa if we see allazi allati it's a connector word then it's again is marfa and all those who are being called 
Monada, they are also Smurfa, and any particular name of a person or place also is Smurfa, right? And the uh, the all the words that is all ism that start with al, uh, they are Smurfa. Okay. Any ism that any ism that doesn't belong to any of the categories or subtypes of proper ism, then it is considered as common or ism nakra. Okay, so any ism that doesn't belong to any of the categories. So if we can exclude all these categories and we find that that a particular ism is doesn't come un, under any category, then it's a ism nakra. Got it? Okay, so th these are some tips uh, how to determine type of an ism. So, mm, an ism, we, we just uh, learned that an ism is considered nakira uh, unless we can prove that it is, it is an ism marfa, proper ism. So when, when we see a word or kalama, if it has al before it, it is marifa. If it is a pro, uh, if al is there, then it's marifa. If it's a, a pronoun, connector, or pointing word, then it's it is marifa. If it is a specific, particular name of a person, place, or a thing, then it again it's marifa. Uh, and if it has a ya before it, ya means uh, someone is calling someone. So uh, if it has ya before it, ya is harfinida, right? Ya if, is harfinida. So if ya comes before uh, any ism, then that ism becomes marfa. Okay, the second tip is if the word is ending in tanween, right? Un, an, or in sound. And it is not a specific name of a person or thing. Like if it's not a, a particular uh, name of a person or a thing, then it is nakira. Got it? So, okay. So this is the diagrammatic presentation of the same thing that we did. Uh, like there are two types of ism. Ism nakira, common ism, or ism marfa, proper ism. Then we have, uh, then we have ism alam. Ism alam means proper name. Ism ishara, pointing word. Ism zamir, pronoun. And moraf billam is proper with al. When al comes before uh, an ism, then it's moraf billam, or it is proper with al and then monada the one being called and connector words so these are different uh, categories or subtypes of ism marfa okay so that's the end of the lesson eight uh, and this is the exercise and I'm going to uh, do some of the uh, words of this exercise and the rest, inshallah, we are going to do in the interactive session on Saturday. Um, if you have any question regarding the chapter, you can ask the, regarding the lesson, you can ask in the group, inshallah. Okay. So, <clears throat> In this exercise, what you are going to do, you are going to determine the type of uh, of these uh, ism, whether they are nakra, you can write N for nakra and M for marfa. And if, they, uh, if it's uh, marfa or proper, then you need to write the subtype also. Okay, so minuna, minuna, is it, uh, particular name of a person? No. We know it's a, a plural and it's a, not a particular 
name of a person and it's uh, we don't see that it's a, a connector word or a pronoun or pointing word so and we don't see al at the beginning also and it's not it's not preceded by ya right so it's a nakara common ism then it's a al baitu al you can see al so this is marifa and with al right with al abidun abidun is the name of a particular person right though it's ending in un sound but it's a uh, first we need to see whether it's a name of a particular person if we find uh, tanveen just see if it's a name of a particular person yes it is so it is marfa is alam marfa alam is alam right then this word is azalimina so the word is is starting with al so again marfa with al hua is pronoun right hua is pronoun so pronouns are marfa to so it's a pronoun pro now okay so uh usman yes this is again marfa marfa and it's a alam it's an alam so here uh, here are uh, some more words inshallah you are going to do it Uh, the uh, uh, these on your own and uh, then we'll cover in the interactive session and if you have any question you can ask in the group and also in the interactive session and we have another exercise uh, hold on let me erase this thing we have another exercise inshallah we are going to do this exercise basically is uh, to to exercise the fact that when al comes when uh, it's uh, the ism is nakra ism nakra masjidun right masjidun with two dhamma when al comes the two dhamma becomes single dhamma must be right so when al comes then one one uh, dhamma or fata or kasra the tanween should be converted to the sound ending sound okay like maun becomes al ma'u al ma'u and maun is nakra and it becomes mm, al ma'u uh, proper noun again this is a, it's not noun it's ism um, um, i'm going to uh, correct this inshallah the, uh, it's a common ism because these are arabic words so a noun is not the same as ism so inshallah uh, we'll meet uh, in lesson number 9 till then assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah bless